Hello guys, this is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In Elementor Pro, when we use any blog post, we will get the default design like that. So in today's video, I will customize this default blog post design to a different one and I will show you how we can customize our blog post and finally we will get a new design like this. So here I will use a free plugin with Elementor Pro and customize it in step by step. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to dashboard and going to plugins and add new plugins. Now searching for Elementor custom skin and this is the plugin Elementor custom skin. So we are going to install this one and going to activate now I'm going to templates and theme builder and here after installing this plugin we will find a new tab here named loop so I'm going here and going to add new loop then from here template type will be loop and name of the template we can type here custom post and create template and this time I'm going to create something from scratch so here I will design a single post and this single post will work as a post loop okay so now first I'm taking a title so here searching for title I mean the heading and here going to dynamic text and here I'm searching for post title okay so here is now showing the post title of a specific post by default this is showing the last post which I posted and now I'm going to the edit section and here I want to add a background image so going to style tab and here background type background image so this time here I want to add a dynamic background image for post so here going to dynamic text and here featured image so featured image of this post will work as the background image and going to the layouts and I am setting a specific height for this section going to mean height or we can make it to 250 and here this text we can make this text to bottom First I'm making it to center align and then again going to the edit section and from here making the vertical align or column position to bottom. Okay and now going to style tab and here I want to add some overlay with this image so going down and background overlay and background type gradient so secondary color we can make it to black and the first color we can make it to white or we can make it to like transparent so in the top area it will be transparent and in the bottom area will show black color so location we can make it like that and opacity you can increase it and decrease the location yeah and now we can make the text to white so from here making it to white and typography we can decrease the font size to 22 and others is okay now the background image and for that I'm again going to edit section going to style tab and here going to background image so here is the position we can make it to center center and 
repeat we can make it to no repeat and size we can make it to cover okay and now I'm publishing it at condition here we need not to add any condition so save and close okay so now again I'm going to the dashboard and from here I'm going to pages and here creating a new page making it to test and publish it then going to edit with elementor okay so now for this page first i am hiding the page title from here hide title and now here i am taking a section i am taking a full column structure and here I'm taking the post, I mean the blog post or post. Okay, so here I'm using Elementor Pro. So this element for post, we can take it for Elementor Pro. So I'm taking this one. And this is the default style for our blog post and by default here is three column and post per page six and now here is skin so by default this is classic and here we can see a new option custom so from here we can select our custom template custom post okay so now we can see the custom post style is showing here and in this way we can customize our blog post in so many way now I am saving it and now if we want to add more options like if we want to add some terms like category tags or anything with our title we can do that or we can add anything or we can style any way as we want so now again I'm going here and taking a new item or new heading or anything just taking this one and now going to dynamic text and from here post term okay so now it's showing the post category by default so I wanted to show some post category related to our blog post and here with link we can add the link with our specific category so now in the similar way dynamic tags we can add archive url sorry it's showing by default tag but we can also make it to category and here separator by default this is comma we can also change it to another one and now if we see here it's showing the category URL with our category and now in the similar way we can make it to center align and for typography style we can make it to a different color like this color and for the font size we can make it to 14 and we can make the text transform to uppercase and for this one we can also make it to 20 and for the content here we can also add a url so it will be post url and here if we want to decrease the spacing between our category and title so we can do that going to edit column and from here we get spacing by default 20 pixel we can make it to 5 and saving it save and close and now again if I refresh the post page yeah cool so it's looking so good our new design is applied to our blog post and now I'm just adding some spacing in top and bottom just making it similar with all other pages so going to advance and going here margin top 30 pixel top and bottom and saving it and now going to view page yeah so this is our custom design blog post page 
so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial